What's up guys, Walt Foot here, Chasing Footprints. Um, it's been a while, or a good bit since we posted our last video. Um, a lot has happened since then. We've pretty much pulled up stakes and moved to Missouri. Um, 1,000 miles, 1,100 miles across the United States to Missouri. So we're no, no longer, we no longer live in Arizona. Um, the hunting has been good out here, great, we love it. A lot to do out here in Missouri, out in the Midwest. Hunting's different, it's a lot of wooded areas, so there's a lot of tree stand hunting, blind hunting, ground blind hunting. So, uh, you know, we're having to get used to hunting like that. Out west, as you know, you glass for miles and miles, find something and try to make a stock on it. So it's a little bit different, different hunting. But we have been successful um, in our hunting um, down here in Missouri. So in this video, this video is going to contain a couple of segments. Um, one segment is going to be Cole. His, he's, he shot a, a ram in Arizona, <clears throat> a painted desert ram in Arizona. And um, we have that on film, as well as I shot a, a spike buck that we have on film. Um, the story behind that though is I, I shot this spike buck and here in Missouri and we have the shot on film but the USB card that we were using we lost. So that's the only thing that we have on film because I used a different USB card for that. So we have that shot on film which we'll show um, and then we have Cole him shooting a doe on film. He self filmed his hunt, his own doe hunt. And so he filmed that and that's on, on going to be on this video as well. And so, and then it, it's, he's skinning it as well as cooking it and I'm eating it. <laughs> so, uh, so that's all going to be on this video. Um, it's going to be a short, relatively short video, but, um, it's going to be an exciting video. And so we hope you guys enjoy what you see and We'll be making more videos because deer season's not over here in, in Missouri. Um, you get a you get to take or harvest quite a few animals here. Um, so we will uh, get to the get to the point, and we'll be showing you um, these videos. Good job, Cole. Just do what you feel. Just be comfortable. He's done. Oh, Dude, he put oh, him down. Oh. Dude, your first big animal, what do you think? Uh, what do you feel? You shaking? Huh? Damn, that is awesome. a nice ramp. Hey guys, Cole from Chasing Footprints here, and uh, today we're doing a little bit of deer hunting. Uh, it's the opening day of youth rifle season, I think it's November 27th, it's about 4 o'clock right now I think, and uh, I'm here sitting, sitting over some water right here, and there's a travel way up there that they usually either come get a drink or they usually walk, uh, it's like a trail for them that they walk over there. and. Uh, We've usually been getting them in around, they even getting on trail camera around 5, 5.30, 5.40. So let's, uh, let's hope they come in a little bit before that so I can get a shot off one. And I'm hunting with the muzzleloader. It's uh, going to be a self-film hunt. If a doe comes in, I'm going to take it. Need some need some meat for the freezer, so wish me luck.
It's down, guys. It's down. It is down. Oh, oh my gosh. Hope you guys can see that. Hopefully you guys can see that. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh my. Oh, I just shot a doe. Hopefully you guys can see that. I'm gonna review the footage. I just saw it crash on the side of me. Oh my gosh. I just got, I just got it out here. Just shooting that deer. And uh, I saw it crash right down there. We're gonna go try to find it. Guys, I just found up. I just followed the butcher and I found it. It's a big doe. So we're gonna drag it back to the house. Start skinning it. So this is Cole skinning out his doe he just killed. Um, we're gonna have to look at the footage to see how good of a shot he made on it. But first, Missouri doe down, old slick head. She's a big old slick head, too. Got a lot of fat. Look at all that fat on her. She's gonna be good eating. All right, buddy, go ahead. And we're gonna start breaking her down right now. Hey guys, uh, we're back in the kitchen. We're gonna cook up some back straps from that doe that I killed. So, it's just uh. Wait, I'm gonna be cooking it. We got the back straps. I I cut them in half and then I kind of chunked them up into littler pieces. Uh, so I'm gonna marinate it. I like to use some teriyaki and I, and I I don't measure anything. I just put a good amount in there like that. And I got some Worcestershire sauce. Put that all like that in there, and then uh, got some hoisin sauce. Put a good amount in there, like that much right there. That's good. And then uh, I like to put a spoonful of garlic in there, not that much. And then some barbecue seasoning. Sprinkle that in. Good. Mix it up and then uh, put it in the fridge for about an hour and then uh, take it out and get with you guys after an hour. Okay guys, uh, the meat here has been marinating for about an um, hour and a half or so and uh, a pan we put some butter, it's hot so uh, we're going to put the meat on. I want it a little too hot. Like that. Couple minutes on each side, flip it. I mean, you want it you want it medium, medium rare. Uh, you don't want you don't want it well done. Right? It's gonna be a little a little too chewy so right? and then I put a little bit more barbecue seasoning, just go sprinkle on top. Each one, so. so I'm gonna flip it now and then cook it for a couple minutes on the other side. It doesn't take this doesn't take very long to cook though. Okay. So they just got off, and uh, so let them rest probably five minutes or so, and I'll uh, cut into them, human taste test. So uh, my dad's gonna taste test it. All right, this is the deer Cole killed, and this is a piece of back strap off of that old girl. Let's see if she tastes good. Be on it. <laughs> is it good? Is it good? <laughs> I'm gonna try one more piece. Just to make sure. I'm gonna try this one right here. Just to make sure, old son. Let's see here. 
Good grief, look at that. Mm-hmm. Perfect cook on it. Let's see. <laughs> That's good, old son. Good? Thumbs up? Huh? Thumbs up? Let me just put it this way. If I put this on top of my head, my tongue would beat my brains out just to get to it. You feel me? Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna taste this piece too. Hey guys, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe, and uh, hope to see you guys on the next one. Bye.